Stop taking BCAAs, all right? In my opinion, it's the worst place you can spend your money, all right? Not the worst, there's probably worst place where you can put your money, but BCAAs, come on, guys. I feel that people at this time, they gotta understand that BCAA is pretty much just marketing and flavored water, all right? If you're spending your hard-earned money and buying BCAAs, EAA supplements, I'll tell you why, all right? Hang on with me. EAAs might have their benefit in very rare scenarios, but BCAAs, all right, let's jump straight into it. BCAAs, branch chain amino acid. Well, you know what? Here, I have my protein here, and protein is basically made of many amino acids, all right? Essential amino acids and non-essential, all right? Few of them are called the branch chain amino acids. The BCAAs, that they did some research saying that those three will help you the most building, protein, uh, building muscles, and they kind of uh, condense them in that supplement. But the body does not work this way. That's the first thing, all right? You can't just hack the body. That's why it doesn't work when you just drink egg whites. That's why when you're trying to just get your vitamins from some pill, it's not as absorbed as well as getting it from real food. You have a multivitamin, you drink it, five minutes later, you're peeing very yellow because it's all the vitamins and minerals that are really leaving your body. The body has been there for thousands of years and we're made to absorb real quality natural food sources, all right? And it doesn't knock off protein powder because protein powder is basically dehydrated milk. All right, so it's not the end of the word, but when you're consuming enough protein, well, you're getting all those amino acids in the right amount. There is no imbalances. There is no 500% uh, of leucine or of, uh, what is it called, the other one? Anyways, one of the uh, BCAAs, there's not just one amino acid that you're spiking like crazy and the other ones are low. No, it's all part of the nature that gives us milk and all the amino acids are there naturally in the balance that they should be, as opposed to having one drink that has 500% of three amino acids and then none of the rest. Do you think your body will absorb it well? Try just eating egg whites and you'll see that, well, they, they did studies. Just people that just eat egg whites as opposed as the whole eggs, first of all, you don't digest the protein as well from the egg whites when you don't have the fats that is in the egg yolk. Second of all, just eating egg whites will kind of get your body. There's something called avenin in the egg whites. Anyways, it's just going to cause a lot of digestive issues. You, you eat egg whites, you feel bloated because your body is not made to just absorb one particular thing. Don't try to hack life. You can't just do that. You just can't. All right. Things come as a whole. So if you're eating enough protein, if you're getting your protein shakes, let's say before your workout, if you had a good meal of chicken and rice, well, you have amino acids in there. You have the BCAAs from your chicken that are in there in the right amount. If you ate the right quantity of chicken that are in your bloodstream. So you don't need to be sipping on that juice and that flavored berry artificial juice during your workout thinking that, okay, I'm doing a set of chest. Now I'm going to drink it. And now the BCAAs are going to go to my chest and it's going to help it recover and grow. This is BS for the last four or five years. All I'm drinking is water in my workout. And trust me, I'm not uh, breaking down muscles. It's BS. They'll tell you, you'll be breaking down muscles if you don't have your BCAAs. Uh, you'll be catabolic. It's going to give you more strength, more endurance, more energy. Why more energy? There's no calories in there. It's just fake sugar with some guys think logically all right stop spending your money on bcas now especially if you're in a surplus or in a maintenance you don't you have enough protein in your bloodstream you don't have to be sipping on something intra workout you don't have to all right you're training you don't want things to go to your digestion you don't you, you want to be tearing down muscles and training after your workout, that's where you want to feed your body. But don't be sipping and eating stuff intra-workout. The worst thing you can do, all right? Unless you're having some carbs and some very specific people that really need to put that weight on. But I'm pretty sure it's not you. And not because you're not there yet. It's just because it's a very specific kind of people that would need to have some carbs intra-workout. I can cover that in another video. That's the first thing. Second thing. Now, EAAs, EAAs are all the essential amino acids that your body doesn't produce. So now EAAs, I have a better kind of feel about it because it's not just spiking three uh, amino acids. It's not breaking a balance. It's EAAs, the nine essential amino acids. And when I would use it, if with people that are in a deficit, they're doing a lot of cardio, for example, they're in a deficit or they're training twice a day and they really need to 
make sure they're not breaking down some muscles all right as they're training fasted or they're doing their cardio fasted that's where it can come into play but to be honest with you guys do not waste your money on it go get yourself a nice quality protein powder make sure that you're getting your creatine in and focus on those little things i see a lot of people wasting money you're basically taking money and putting it in the garbage all right with all the bcaa's the eaa's the new crazy hydration formula meanwhile you can get so much better hydration by having real quality salt and consuming enough water and eating fruits all right so don't try to hack the system don't think that uh, you need a special supplement but it's just being seeing people drinking bcaa's at the gym you don't need it trust me i've trained with professional bodybuilders that uh, I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong, but I'm tra I've trained with professional bodybuilders that were uh, sponsored by big companies and that they had access to all the supplements they want. Guess what they drink in a workout? Water. A lot of them were drinking actually Gatorade. All right. So what does it tell you? Don't fall too much for those little things. And that's it for this video. See you soon. Ciao. Leave a like, leave a comment, go to our website if you want to buy a program. You can actually donate right now. You can, if you find this helpful, you can leave a donation. See you guys soon. Ciao.